Welcome to another surgery vlog. I never thought I'd make one surgery vlog, let alone two. This is now the second surgery I'm documenting on this YouTube channel. My first one was for a torn meniscus about a year or two ago, and this surgery is for ingrown toenails. Um, I have had the worst luck with ingrown toenails. I believe it is hereditary for me and um, it's just how I was born. So if you've had ingrown toenails, you know how painful they can be. And I have tried just about everything to remove them, to try to maintain them. Um, I actually wound up in the hospital over the summer when I was in Disney for it. It is extremely painful and um, can be super dangerous because it can get infected. So. Basically, here we are at my last resort, which is surgery. I found a podiatrist that I really love and she's gonna be doing my surgery uh, two days from now in the morning. I'm gonna go in and they're gonna put me under um, and take it out. Basically, they're gonna remove it all the way to the root. Oh, it's like gross even talking about it. They're gonna cut down my toenail and put some stitches in and then um, hopefully it should never ever grow back and I should never have this problem again. Um, I've been on vacation before and had to deal with the pain and it just like really limits your activity. So yeah, that's what this video is gonna be. Um, I figured I'd make an intro before going to the hospital since it will be like super early in the morning and I probably like will not be coherent after the surgery either to explain it, but I'm just gonna be documenting the process um, and my recovery. I don't know how much footage of my toe I'll include because it seems a little weird, but yeah. Okay, see you on surgery day. Surgery day, good morning. I don't know why it is so loud out here. I assumed at 5.30 in the morning, as you can tell because it's pitch black, that it would be kind of quiet, but it seems hustling and bustling. Um, I am taking Boots to pee really quick before we leave since we'll probably be gone for a few hours. She's so confused. She's like, uh, why are we getting up in the middle of the night? <laughs> but yeah, it's time. Good morning. Are you confused? <laughs> Very quickly, here is the OOTD. I have on a sweatshirt, my loosest sweatpants at the bottom so I don't have a problem um, with my feet and then just like Uggs because they're gonna give me something else to put on my feet. Cue the hospital montage. Here we are at the hospital. I got changed into a gown and a hairnet. I had to put socks on, which like doesn't make sense, but whatever. I got a blanket because it's always cold in there. And then they wound up putting an IV in my hand just for all the liquids and stuff. Many unbearable hours later. Here are my toes post-surgery. I did not see what they looked like before they were bandaged up, so I had no clue what was going on under there. Um, <laughs> they looked so orange from the iodine that they used, so it just looked like I had a really bad spray tan. And those are the super cute shoes they gave me to wear. I got dressed. Um, oh, this is the ice bag that they gave me to take home. Um, got dressed. There's my toes again. I don't even know what I was filming at this point. And then we were ready to leave the hospital and drive home. Just got home from surgery. My mouth is so incredibly dry, probably from the anesthesia, but I'm just like, I don't think my mouth has ever been this dry. Boots is here. She's already very confused. Um, I walked out of, well, they wheeled me out of the surgery center, but um, no crutches or anything like that, just the little shoes. So um, we had a drive home and now I am supposed to keep my feet up um, and ice like 20 minutes at a time. I did get some um, pain medicine, so I think it depends like how much pain you're in. They wrote me a script for like the extra strength ibuprofen basically. Um, and then when I was in the hospital, they gave me something a little stronger. Um, such a bad angle. Uh, what else? They had an emergency when I was in there. So somebody actually had to go to the ER. Um, the surgery center I'm at is like, it's not like emergency surgery. So it's like pretty much surgeries that people are just having. Um, but like non-life-threatening, uh, if that makes sense. But so I wound up there a few hours longer than we thought we were gonna be because it was like all hands on deck. 
this woman had some type of reaction, I guess, so she had to go to the ER, so I was just, like, there. Here's my little toesies. Um, I got them wrapped up. The markers from where the doctor, like, signed her name or whatever. Um, the shoes I have to wear if I, like, I'm walking a lot or if I leave the house, but uh, if I'm just laying down, like, I have my... I don't, I don't know if you can tell, I have my feet up on a pillow, so um, I don't need to like have the shoes on or anything. Probably gonna try to take a nap now, maybe drink something for my mouth, um, and yeah, chill out. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm definitely not in as much pain as I thought I would be in. Part of it is that um, they gave me pain meds while I was obviously there because I said I was in pain. And they said that um, I picked up a prescription for some pain meds. They said I could take it starting at 1.45 p.m. It's now almost 5 o'clock and I haven't felt the need to take them. So knock on wood, um, things seem to be moving along. I have a follow-up appointment that I need to make. Um, it's actually the, a holiday weekend because it's the new year. So I'm going to call my doctor's office on Monday and make an appointment. So we're doing a one week follow up where she will change the dressing and then a two week follow up where she will take out the stitches if all goes well. So yeah, um, I will keep you guys updated. I never knew how hard it was to ice your toes, but apparently it's really complicated. So this is the little situation I wound up with. I'm officially four days post op and I thought I would film because I don't have a ton of pain anymore, so if you are having this, that is when I stopped feeling like the huge excruciating pain, knock on wood, that it does not come back. I have a doctor's appointment with my doctor in three days to get the bandages changed, so it's about a week after my surgery, um, and then we're going to go from there. If you don't want to see the gross toes, this is your cue to skip ahead, and here we are. This is what my toes looked like immediately after getting the bandages off one week after surgery and then she wrapped my toes up again this is going to be the end of the video i went to the doctors today and got my stitches out so two weeks post-op got my stitches removed i can finally have like a real shower so before i could not get my feet wet at all and i had to wear open toe shoes so keep that in mind my um, recovery time for that was two weeks now i just have these like strips on them i'm gonna wait till they dissolve um, or like fall off, whatever. And then uh, I'm pretty much good to go. She said to wait a full month until um, I can work out and stuff. And I do have a follow-up appointment with my doctor in three weeks, but for the most part, pain-free um, and very happy that I did this procedure. Thank you for watching my surgery journey. If you have any questions or if there's anything I can help out with, drop a comment down below. Hopefully this will be me signing off for my last surgery vlog and I will never have another surgery vlog, knock on wood. <laughs> but yeah, bye guys.